So today we have a skin lesion we're going to remove. Anytime when you're considering a skin lesion and if it's something that should be removed and checked for possible cancer, there are about five characteristics you want to keep in mind. One is asymmetry. So if the border isn't, I'm sorry, if the, um, if you don't feel like you could uh, bisect the lesion in half and have it lie on itself nice and equal, um, then that could be concerning. So this has some asymmetry to it. Next is border. You want a nice clean border all the way around and you can see how there are some jagged lines here. So that's not a very good sign. Color. So anytime you have multiple colors, that could be problematic or if you have very dark colors. Now he has some other lighter colored lesions around here, but this one is darker. And there's actually a flatter part on top and a more nodular base. So that is, could be potentially concerning. Next is diameter. So this spot is about eight millimeters long. Anything over six millimeters could be potentially problematic. And then the fifth characteristic is evolution. So if we find that a skin lesion like this is changing, then that could concern us too. We don't know how long this has been here and if it's changed or not. So that one we don't know, but it's got the, of the ABCDEs of skin lesions, it has asymmet asymmetry, irregular border, color variations, and the diameter. So we want to take this off and send it to pathology and see what it is. So we have to clean it off with some alcohol because we don't want any infection. Dry it off. And then we're going to inject some lidocaine with epinephrine to numb the area and shut down some of the blood vessels so that we don't have any bleeding. I'm going to say three, two, one, then I'll inject. Three, two, one, poke. And this kind of burns, this lidocaine does. And we just want to puff up the whole skin lesion nice and big and make sure everything's nice and numb. And you can see this white color. This is the epinephrine clamping down and causing vasoconstriction on the blood vessels. And with this needle, this is sharp, so we can poke that and it's not painful because the lidocaine has numbed the area. So for the rest of the procedure, your patient should not be able to feel anything, which is what we want. Clean it up again. Dry it off. So this device is a dermablade. This is a stainless steel blade, and I'm just going to shave it off. Here we go. There we go, it's off. See, we had a nice clean cut and bleeding a little bit. There's a little bit of pigment at the base. So we'll see after pathology's back if we'll need to cut off some more or, or what the identity of it is or what. So I'm just going to clean this up and get it bandaged up and we'll be able to see what pathology says. And that's how you remove a skin lesion.